Hello students, hope you are all well and studying well also with the help of the online materials you are getting from a school. Today we are discussing on class 3 English grammar and our unit is conjunction. So here we will learn conjunction. I like ice cream, I like chocolates. How we can join the two words? Actually, we have done this before, but we do not know the particular name of the word. I am joining it like I like ice cream and chocolate. So, and is the word that is joining two words, ice cream and chocolate. In the next sentence, I am E, I cannot go to school. How can we join this? I am joining this like I cannot go to school as I am E. So, in this sentences, here and and here as, these two words are actually joining words. The another name of joining word is conjunction. So to define we can say that a word that joins two words or two sentences is called a conjunction. I am coming to number 3 again. In sentence number 1, and is joining two words. Which are the words? Ice cream and chocolate. And in sentence number 2, as is joining two sentences. How can we understand that there are two sentences? Actually, look, the conjunction comes after the verb. Here is the verb and here comes the conjunction. If we get another verb after the conjunction, then there are two sentences. I repeat, if we get two verbs, one is before conjunction, another is after conjunction, then this conjunction is joining actually two sentences. And if we get one verb, I like chocolates and ice creams, so there is only one verb. So this and conjunction is actually joining two words. Okay, to define we can say a word that joins two words or two sentences is called a conjunction. So what is another name of conjunction? Another name of the conjunction is joining word. So come here. There are some conjunctions and the applications. Because as. Look, because and as are almost same meaning conjunctions. When we express something cause effect like first sentence is the cause of the second sentence. So these are the cause effect sentences. Then we use because or as like I have used in question in sentence number two. I am ill. I cannot go to school. I cannot go to school as I am ill. This is right and I can also use because instead of as here. So what will be the sentence? I cannot go to school because I am ill. So these are the usage of because and as. So next if. We use if when one sentence is dependent on another sentence. I mean the, if the first sentence happens then the second sentence will come. Like I have written if he comes we shall go for shopping. Jodi o ashe tobe amra shopping e jete parbo otherwise amra parbo So the second sentence is dependent on the first sentence. Okay here comes but. But actually expresses two opposite ideas. 
Like the man he is honest, but his son he is dishonest. You know honest and its opposite word is dishonest. So, but he is joining two opposite ideas. Or, actually we use or to express optional ideas. So, I take tea or coffee in the evening. I mean, boy cha khai, noy coffee khai. Dujo ya bhi pochun do kori. Je kono acta ke ami khai. So, or is expressing optional ideas. Now, here is an important point. Because, as, if. These three conjunctions, because, as, if. I'm repeating. These three conjunctions only joins two sentences. When we get this conjunction, we can say blindly that there are two sentences. But, or joins two words and two sentences as well. It is so tricky and is also like that. So, we have to find out as we have done here. We have to come to the verb and if we find a conjunction before the verb and a verb after the conjunction, actually we are getting two verbs like before the conjunction and after the conjunction, then it is actually two sentences. Okay, now I am giving a sentence. I practice drawing and recitation on Sunday. So the question will be, find out the conjunction and why is it called so? And is the conjunction it is a conjunction as it joins two words, drawing and recitation. I repeat the why based answer. It is a conjunction as it joins two words, number one drawing, number two recitation. So here, here the conjunction is joining two words but we will get some conjunctions that are joined to sentences. So the process is same and we have to find out the verb actually. We have a verb before a conjunction and a verb after a conjunction. This the then the conjunction is joining to sentences. That's all for today. In the coming PDF you will be getting more details about conjunction. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.